World's Handbook. Today I'm taking my trip into uh, what for me is a very interesting historic uh, town, Randsburg, California. And um, Randsburg is, is definitely uh, a ways off 395 and, and you would miss it and indeed uh, I was going through one of the uh, Roadside America websites and came across this unique town. And I want to take you through and I'm, I'm going to zip down um, the main drag, the main street of the town and show you a bit of that and uh, focus on this idea of living history. And actually just coming up here on the left, you see the Randsburg Jail and also the sign welcoming you, welcoming you to the town. And uh, I'll show you a few images from inside here. Very cool little space. Looks like it's closed at the moment. And Randsburg was very, very significant years ago, many, many years ago, um, as a mining town. And had, I think, up to a few thousand people. Today, and I'm just showing you here the main uh, drag right here, uh, very popular with uh, motorcycle enthusiasts. And also with um, OHV vehicles, which basically are um, cool off-road vehicles that uh, people drive. took a shot here of the um, Santa Barbara Church in Randsburg, California. And, um, you know, so one of the primary purposes of this video feature, I was thinking about comparing and contrasting this town uh, with Bodie, California. It reminds me I need to do a video on, on Bodie. And Bodie, if you've been, uh, is just a few hours north of us on 395. And Bodie has obviously is not a, a town that's inhabited other than by uh, uh, park rangers but um you know Bodie is a ghost town and it has taken this approach of um what they call arrested decay where they're not doing a lot of new construction to make you know alterations and make it look new and i think what's curious about Randsburg is in their uh, marketing and again very small town population of 70 or so um, they made uh, mention of the fact that it's a living ghost town and so this this idea of, of living history I think is is quite interesting and you could say that any town any inhabited space is an example of lived history right because every space is historic but I think when you clearly identify yourself as being historic and this could be through uh, you know forms of theming it could be through narrative it could be historical plaques and information offered to a guest that is a much different project or operation going on in terms of um, theming the town I'm reminded also of Virginia City which um, as a gold rush town as a mining town as a, uh, uh, a space that emphasizes um, history it has a, a similar aesthetic and I think a similar approach let me stop again and I'm going to take a few more photos.
Okay, so we're getting a, uh, a close-up view here, and I really wanted to show you this. You can see there's a desert museum, and then here we have these, um, what clearly are um, original buildings, but also, of course, have been in, have been modified. And I'm just very curious about the extent to which, um, you know, it's made to look old versus uh, it actually does have chronological chronological age. And I was thinking of a uh, Cornelius Holtorf and his work on pastness, and clearly um, that perception, that feeling that something is old, um, is very, very significant here. As you can see, I mean, it's really marvelous in so many different ways. And then across the street, you can see the um, one of many antique shops. Yeah, but I just I, I can't get enough of this. I just I really can't in terms of that sense of uh, what's been called pastness. You can see here, if you can make it out, this plaque of the saloon that opened in 1895, and so that was back in the uh, days, certainly, of um, all the mining operations here. And just at the edge of the town, down there is the jail to the right, um, you see all the parking for um, all the off-road vehicles that's available. And then this is, I think, the really impressive site here. Um, you have the post office, the general store, um, a bar down there, the hole in the wall. And here we are driving the other way down the town's main street. So I wanted to show you this section here by the jail. You could see this is where they have a lot of their sense of um, self-construction of historical significance, as you see the, the maps and the plaques. And then looking at the jail itself, it's quite curious because clearly the font and the paint job are um, contemporary, but um, preserving the location and the notion of the jail. And I found these... Um, curious mannequins inside as well and it certainly lent a uh, surreal quality uh, to the space uh, particularly the chicken hanging from the window and then lastly I'll share this image with you which I think does really reflect the historical significance of the space in terms of living history so I hope you enjoyed this video feature today here in Randsburg, California, looking at um, the issue of living history. Please come back for additional video features of the Immersive Worlds Handbook.